Oh boy, crossing, 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 crossing. Oh, good morning. It's January 9th, 2016. The year is basically already practically over. I'm, I'm headed to... I'm headed to improv class. This is the first day of level three. For some reason, I'm so nervous. Partly because when I ended level two was almost four years ago. Part of my whole big like refocusing on myself, rebooting, you know, trying to spark some creativity, I decided to not only do this YouTube everyday thing, but also throw myself back into improv and see what happens. I just remember several years ago with my class, you know, it was pretty much all of us that went from level one to level two, and then several of them carried on. And so I can just imagine how tight, you know, this group is that's in level three, feeling like an outsider. Like, okay, how well am I gonna be able to step back into all of these little cultish things of improv that <laughs> I don't necessarily remember. It's ah! feeling a little. Um, yesterday's video, several of you have said that it doesn't count. Uh, yes, it does count. It freaking counts. It took me five hours to download all those videos and compile them. I was thinking it was going to be a much quicker process, but none of my videos were actually on the computer. They were all in the cloud. All I said was that I was going to post a video a day. I didn't say I was going to record a video a day. I don't know, maybe I did, but my thought is that I'm just posting a video a day. Besides, come on, you're getting to see things that you never got to see. I'm filling in the gaps. That's the whole point of this. <sighs> so I don't know, how do you think I'm props gonna go? I'm excited to meet new people and be challenged. Just grow. I mean, whenever you try something new or put yourself into new situations, grow. <sighs> I'll be honest, one of them. Okay, that truck just basically came into my lane. Um, I'll be honest, one of the things that I'm most nervous about this class is that there's a showcase at the end of it. And I love being on stage. I love being in front of people. I just don't know if I'm going to love doing that doing improv because my perfectionist side of me goes, okay, are you going to be perfect at it? Are you going to be great? Or are you going to embarrass yourself? But you know what? This whole month has been about embarrassing myself because every single video I have been so embarrassed by in the end. I don't know why. If there's something about it, if I had not publicly said out loud, I'm going to do this every day, there's no way I would still be posting. I have chickened out several times already, but in my head I go, nope, I said I was going to do this publicly, so I have to keep that. But there's this other part of me called the critic. I kind of brought back the other day when I did that video of two me's. Just kind of picks apart the things that I do and the things that I am. It's sort of that voice in the back of your head. And it has been talking nonstop through this whole process, constantly downplaying the quality of my videos and my quality of my editing and the energy of them and what I'm doing. I want to either kill him or I want to befriend him. He has to become an asset instead of you know, an obstacle. <sighs> it's very therapeutic. And so is improv. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. So, I mean, I guess... I don't know. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy myself. <sighs> okay, well, now I don't have to. I can just keep, I can just keep driving. I don't have to do this right now. I'm in control of my own destiny. And I don't have to do this. the token gay one? Ah! I quit. This club's already too crowded. <sighs> what do I do? Just awkwardly sit here until my class starts in what, 20 minutes? I could go out and do like the social thing and mingle with whoever's outside. 
you know, as outgoing as I sometimes am, I'm really socially awkward sometimes, and well, a lot of the time, and very nervous in new situations, I guess. But you know what, one of my classmates from level one and two is now the GM of this place, so I'm basically royalty, right? Coming from a legacy class, we've all gone on to do great things. Except for me, who haven't done it. jack shit. Oh, look at those lips. I guess the goal of this to is to allow myself to make a fool of myself and be okay with that. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna stop recording because I have to get on Facebook and post the check-in to say that I'm here now. Because that's what you do, right? So how do I make it sort of vague and cool sounding? I don't know, I'll think of something. Okay. Everyone's moving from their cars. <sighs> so I guess it's time for me to go do this. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> wow, that was really good. It was really fun. Great group of people. I don't know why I was so nervous. It was very rusty. I mean, there's this whole culture surrounding improv. <sighs> I, it was it was rough because I was like, I had to remember all these things, and then there's all these things I had never done, and I uh, just. But I got it. It was fun. Um, it was definitely weird because there's you know everyone was very tight. Um, pretty much everyone worked together already, and it's kind of weird being like the new person and not knowing like all the dynamics and stuff. And, feeling like you're sort of disrupting things. I'm glad I didn't. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna run a red light. Oh, and hit a bicycle, oh no, he's fine. Oh, I, I forgot how physically like taxing it can be, like all the constant moving around, the jumping, the, the holding frozen positions, just the energy. <laughs> and you're already been sick for like three weeks. <clears throat> That's not fun. So I think I'm gonna go home and like die. So yeah, but I'm glad I did it. <sighs> so I guess we're just do it again next week.